Joining us today is Myra Goodman, co-founder of organic produce leader Earthbound Farm and author of the cookbook, Food to Live By. We grow produce for a lot of the local chefs, and this is really how we started. We started on a smaller farm on two and a half acres in Carmel Valley, growing raspberries that we sold to people at a roadside stand, and we delivered to local chefs. We still maintain this farm stand where we can meet consumers face to face. So Myra, tell me, how did this cookbook come to be? We just thought it would be really nice to have a more intimate connection with people who buy our products, share our story, share all the reasons why we're so passionate about organic, and share our favorite recipes. So tell me a little bit about the collection of recipes in your book. Food to Live By, the Earth Bend Farm Cookbook, has more than 260 recipes. And we really wanted it to be an across-the-menu cookbook to really show people that you can make anything using organic ingredients. A lot of the recipes are my recipes that I've always cooked at my home. We also, at our farm stand here in Carmel Valley, we have one of the few certified organic kitchens in the country. And so a lot of the recipes that we have in the cookbook are some of our customers' favorite recipes here. Can you share with us some of your favorite recipes in the book? Well, I love my cinnamon walnut coffee cake. And what's so great about that recipe is I make it with canola oil and I make it with whole wheat pastry flour and lots of walnuts, lots of cinnamon. So it's actually, it has, it has calories, but it's actually really healthy as well. We have cookies that we're famous for at the farm stand. One is our ginger snap and one is our lemon snap and the recipes for those cookies are in there as well. The first chapter is all raspberry recipes because when my husband and I started our farm on our two acre backyard, a long time ago, our first crop was raspberries. So there's a fabulous chocolate souffle with raspberry sauce. There's raspberry jam that my family can't live without. I make a huge batch every summer. We have some fabulous soups. There's over 19 soups in the cookbook. My favorite, I would say, is our split pea soup. It's with pancetta and bacon. I think my family really likes our Mediterranean lentil soup. I make that a lot. We have some great salads. I love our roasted beet arugula salad that we have served with feta cheese and walnuts and blood orange segments, and that's really yummy. Then we have a lot of meat and chicken dishes. My mother is from Hungary, and so I threw in a chicken paprikash recipe that's served on egg noodles that's really delicious. A lot of people say that their favorite recipe is our Merlot braised short ribs. That's also really yummy. And then we have lots of desserts. We have great brownies. And then we have our secret recipe for maple almond granola that's been a bestseller at our farm stand for more than a decade. Would you like to see some of the recipes that we just cooked? Uh, yes. This is Kathy's Rosemary Roasted Chicken. It has a lot of Meyer lemon and garlic and rosemary. It's really delicious. And these are our garlicky string beans. And this is an assortment of roasted root vegetables. There's parsnips in here and yams and potatoes and garlic. It's delicious. It goes really well with the chicken. And then for dessert, we have our farm stand carrot cake, which is really yummy. And we actually won a big award for that at our local county fair. So I wanted to show you these raspberry corn muffins. This is the first muffin recipe I ever made up when we had a little raspberry stand. And I used to make raspberry muffins with my extra raspberries. And we're still making them today at our farm stand. They look delicious. Thank you. Food to Live By is a cookbook unlike any other. And with these recipes, you will find that healthy eating can be a delicious experience.